No, I did not record an entire episode of Command Central with my mic turned off. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Command Central. Today we are going to be making the Ring of Power. The one ring to rule them all. Yes, that's right, from the Lord of the Rings. So, yeah, let's just go straight to it. In order to create it, all you have to do is toss the gold ingot onto this structure, and then if you're lucky... That is really loud. If you're lucky, you will gain the Ring of Power. Sometimes it doesn't work because the structure gets blown up, but that's just because you're not crafty enough. Now already you can see my right hand side, the score ring used is going up, and when I drop it onto the ground, which I will demonstrate, it will go down. So when I hold it, I become invisible, just like in the movie, but my ring used score is going up a lot faster now. Now I just wanted to point out, that when you toss the ring of power onto the ground, which can take a while because a lot of stuff happens, but I'm just using a very poor computer, so it does take a bit in that sense. So there we go, the ring of power is kind of being tossed onto the ground. And when I summon any creatures, villagers, sheep, villagers, sheep, works, works for everything except items of course, but they will move towards the ring of power. If they, if they feel like it, then they become corrupted by the ring and they will just stand there. I believe if we have zombies and things like that, they will just move towards it anyway. But, I'm just going to take that back. Thank you very much, because... My precious... I think even Minecraft is corrupted by the ring because it just crashed as soon as I picked it back up. Obviously it didn't want me to have it. But that's all there is for mechanics, except for one tinsy problem about the ring. When your ring use score gets to a certain point, so 10 minutes if you're not holding the ring, um, a lot shorter if you are holding, or 2 minutes if you are holding the ring all the time. I might add some more effects to that, you've got to tell me what you think though. But if you've been holding the ring for a bit too long, you will have this problem. Scoreboard player set up here, ring use. Alright, so you'll notice the score is going up and up and up until eventually it's not frozen, it's just loading it in. Oh god, here it is. You will get this Nazgul, which doesn't actually make any noises at the moment. It doesn't actually make any noises at the moment, but I will be using screaming gusts to replicate the effect as seen in the films and probably heard in the book, although you can't really hear the pages talking. But Let's just kill that. Oh. And of course, the Nazgul to come with it. I will be changing its name, and wow, look how big this guy looks compared to me. That's intimidating. But he will basically drop a sword, which gives 10 attack damage and 10 health. So it's more powerful than your typical diamond sword. And of course, it increases your maximum health by 5 hearts. So, to the explanation. Uh, firstly, the move towards, everything moves towards the ring of power because, whoa, why did I go upwards? Oh jeez. That's unusual. Huh. That's kind of funny actually. Say. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but this is just Mr. Goretto's generator, and I copied it also into his one command generator. So. I've just specified the ring of power and all entities except for items will be moved towards the ring of power and they will also be given a strength effect. So let's start off with the summoning, what happens there? Well, a detective of a gold ingot, right here, is on top of that structure which is just used by lots and lots of detect commands and it will give it a score, ring main 1, well it will keep adding it, and when it reaches 40 it will create a particle, angry villager particle. Actually, I might change this to one, just so you can see the craft happen in action, and I might just create the particle limit to one. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that instead, and then it plays the mob remedy sound, and then it will summon a firework, then it will summon Prime's TNT, which is why I did it over there, and why it doesn't work some of the time. Then it will summon in the item, which I used with MC Stacker. Thank you very much, whoever created that and then it will kill the gold ingot. That is how it gets summoned. Now to detect if 
it is on the ground, it's detecting for a die with level 5 infinity. So here's its score, and then on the end I've added this tag, item colon id minecraft die tag ench 51 level 5. Here it is if you're interested. And then it will set its entity data to ring of power, just so it looks cool. Then it will affect all players with, well, all entities nearby with strength, so they're, they're corrupted by the ring. And then it will set a score ring use 1. Oh no, that's something else. Right, so this part here, if you are holding it, then it will increase ring use by 5 per tick. So that's my score on the right. And if it's in your inventory, right here, here's the tag, it will add 2 to your score, which is counteracted by something over there, I'll explain later. And then there's this ring use 1 is being set to 5. Now the difference between ring use and ring use 1 is important because here, ring use 1, if it's more than 1, then you will get Minecraft invisibility. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. This part here, this is the Ender Dragon getting summoned, but first I might go over here. This constantly decreasing my ring use score and my ring use 1 score, so it always has a score. So if I drop this down, the score will start to go back down and of course you get that lag spike from all the entities. That's just my bad computer, I'm sorry, it's not normally like this. Anyway, so if I pick it back up, then it will start going back up by a lot because I'm holding it, so it's just adding more and more to the score. But anyway, and then let's go scoreboard objectives set oh, objectives objectives set display sidebar ring use one. So you see it's zero when I hold onto it. It's f it's four, but it's constantly being decreased. And when I finally let go, it cancels my invisibility. Now the Ender Dragon being summoned is also pretty simple. Uh, that's some mob griefing. So here it is. This is the summon once it reaches a certain score, and then in the same tick, it will set my score back to zero, so millions and millions and millions of Ender Dragons don't get summoned. Now, the mob griefing is interesting, because Ender Dragons, you know how badly they grief. I've made it so, if there is a Nazgul in your world, then game rule mob griefing will be set to false immediately. So, if you're fighting the Ender Dragon, you'll be fine, because its name is actually Ender Dragon. But for Nazgul Horse, mob griefing will be set to false, and... Okay, so the, it, the Ender Dragon drops an item, so when you kill it, it's a dead bush with infinity level 5, it's really got no significance, the dead bush, it's just that it's not, a, it's not, not an item that you see very often. And if that thing exists, so actually it executes from all players, score grief min equals 1, so there will be signs that you can click that will say do you have mob griefing on or do you have mob griefing off, and if you have mob griefing on, then it will set then it will also look for the dead bush. So where did I put that? There we go. It will look for the dead bush, which is specified by ring news equals one two three four five, and the minimum score one two three four five. And it will set the game rule mob griefing to true. So that's all I have to say about that. So thank you very much for watching this very short episode where I am creating the one ring to rule them all. This is why I don't do drama at school, by the way. It's because yeah. Uh, anyway, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I am going to set a challenge for myself this episode. I'm going to reply to every comment in the video. Every single one, within reason, the first few... The, in, within the first month, I'm going to reply to every single comment. So if you really have something to say, even if it's just a smiley face, then I will send you a smiley face back, and you can enjoy that. And man, this... This motion is... Oh, you know what it is? It's not excluding the player when, when doing the teleport commands, hence why I'm having this kind of trouble. I can fix that, I just need to go into that evil box, which I don't fully understand, which is kind of embarrassing, but... Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day!